We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for Tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, continuing to test key support levels and fighting to stay above 410. And in today's volatility, our SPY bot at 855 a.m. sent out a bear indicator. And from that moment forward, outflows cross the midpoint to the downside. Pure weakness there on 42 vision and put options went up 200 percent plus within an hour guys and as you see they're popping up within the screen within the options chain some options even went higher than that if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so here we are with the spy continuing to fight and hold support here at the 410 area this is a historical support level where the bulls continue to fight and reappear since the last several weeks which will break down more in today's video but we're going to look at what's going on with the inflow versus outflow and bull and bear indicators but before we do i want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the discord so the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of our growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so the home run idea was from our tesla bot our tesla bot sent out a bear indicator at 8 40 a.m and from that moment forward outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside pure weakness there on 42 vision and put options went up a hundred percent plus within an hour guys and as you see they're popping up within the screen within the options chain some options even went higher than that if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump into these charts so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index continuing the full transition here from the rip area of bright green bars to the dip area of white referred borders yesterday and continuing today and if this is your first time coming across the channel this is 42 vision which allows us to see the dips from the rips the rips to the dips and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts and we also use our bull and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which i'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility so here we are with the spy under a bear indicator since yesterday at around the 419 area and outflows dominating for most of the day yesterday in the second half and even in the pre-market and continuing those outflows to dominate in today's volatility now in the second half these inflows started to pick up here you could see it there on the inflow versus outflow and they are just now crossing over here in the midpoint as the after hours are starting right and here we are with the after hours showing a full push from 410 to highs here so far of 413 and if we zoom into the five minute we could see that strength there in the last several minutes to hours and it's going to be crucial for these inflows to pick up on multiple time frames on the five minute it is still below but things are a lot more volatile on the five minute i just wanted you guys to see how big of a move so far of nearly two to three dollars in the after hours is happening right now 
And this inflow versus outflow crossover is going to be crucial, guys. This crossover is going to be critical and very important going into tomorrow. And I'm going to share with you guys the key levels I would watch going into tomorrow's volatility. So the first thing is when we zoom out and look at this from the one hour, we could see here that the inflows are trying to pick up for the first time, right? Outflows crossed over in yesterday's pre-market. Bear indicator popped up at around 418.50 area. Full outflow domination from yesterday to today. Things leveled off here. Things are bouncing off 410, a critical support level in the history of these charts. We've broken that down in previous videos. And the inflows are trying to pick up here from these outflows of negative 6. And right now, they are green at negative 3.46. Now, it's still far from the midpoint. But it's going to be something to definitely not overlook and watch here if these inflows can continue because the closer it gets to the midpoint the more it could start to reflect possibly into these charts and eventually cancel out this bear indicator with a possible bull indicator something to not ignore and it's the first transitions that we see trying to come back up after transitioning from dark green up here to white with red borders and now going from white with red borders to white with green borders and red with green borders. This is our first attempt of reversal here of the bulls trying to reappear with strength and these inflows picking up here on the one hour. That is going to be critical and crucial, something to not ignore. And then the 30 minute is right there near the midpoint and that is something that is going to be critical. It needs to close and confirm above it and pull away from it to the upside to continue this possible momentum not just in today's after hours but going into tomorrow and we're going to talk about the key levels i would watch in this volatility but right now in this reversal we are still under this bear indicator from yesterday at 419 no bull indicator has popped up just yet but when you zoom into the 15 minute we can see here within the volatility that a bull indicator has popped up around 411 and also these inflows crossed over and now they're crossing back down. And that's what we saw earlier in the five minute. It's going to be critical and crucial for these inflows to pick back up. And there you see it live in the action. The five minute is a lot more volatile to justify any further move to the upside. These inflows need to cross over. And not just that, but roll over from the five minute over to the 15 minute and start pushing this back up over the midpoint. I'm going to be watching that very carefully going into tomorrow. This is going to be critical and crucial as a bull indicator has popped up and a full transition from the dip area to the rip area has happened so far here on the 15 minute chart. Something to not ignore and it's really close to the midpoint there on the red inflow versus outflow and not that far off the possibility of coming back up if those inflows were to pick up and you have the 30 minute now above and confirming sitting sideways and a bull indicator that is now popping up it has not confirmed yet it has 30 more minutes to go for this bar to confirm but if it confirms and closes with that bull indicator there and these inflows stay above the bull indicator becomes in effect so this is all happening live right now as i'm doing this video and as you go ahead and rewind or go back in the video and see this bar was not here yet a bull indicator had not popped up. The inflows were on their way to cross over. And in the live action, you could see earlier on the five minute, it was red sitting sideways. And right now it's turned from red to green, trying to head towards the midpoint, justifying so far the possible move. But we want to see the 15 minute go up and the one hour to continue getting closer to the midpoint. Now, what are the key levels I would watch to the upside and to the downside? Well, the first key level will be the support levels here. And the first support is 410. And if these outflows go back down towards the midpoint or cross it and cancel out this bull indicator and start to reflect that weakness into these charts and cross 410, the next support that I will watch is 408 and then the 405 area. Those are the critical levels to the downside that I would not ignore especially if these outflows continue to pull away from the midpoint here on the 15 minute now to the upside it's going to be crucial and critical here 
for these inflows to cross back over. I'm going to be watching that very carefully. Hold this bull indicator strong here. And the first resistance would then be since right now we're seeing the strength here in the after hours and it's trying to test that 413 level. The first resistance if these inflows can continue and push up higher. And this bull indicator confirms here on the 30 minute and these inflows pick up on the one hour and head towards the midpoint to continue reflecting that strength into these charts and possibly cancel out this bear indicator well it will be the 415 area guys that's where the tight range was in yesterday's after hours it rejected off of that in today's pre-market at highs here a 414.60 area 415 will be crucial and if these inflows can continue and push up higher on the 15 minute on the 30 minute and have these bull indicators strong the next resistance above that is the 418 area where things were in a tight consolidation here on Tuesday, yesterday, before collapsing down and breaking through the 417.50 and the outflow starting to dominate. So those are the key levels I'll be watching to the upside and to the downside. These bull and bear indicators are going to be crucial. And the inflow versus outflow, I'm going to be watching very carefully Going into tomorrow, as these inflows are crossed over now on the 30 minute, the bull indicator has not confirmed yet, but it's trying to pop up and confirm. It has 20 more minutes to go. And then the 15 minute is under a bull indicator and very close there to these inflows, picking up on the five minute and the 15 minute right there near the midpoint. So something I would not ignore and overlook here. And this is going to be crucial and critical going into tomorrow as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money